Julian. with your marriage. I believe you already have. Busted. <laughs> I hope that you and I can build a good working relationship here. For all our sakes. Yes, sir, Mr. Ernie Packard. I will definitely call you back on that. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't forget. Yeah, you too. Be good. Hi, sweetie. Hey. How's your meeting go? Great, I sold three designs. Well. They really like my things. It's a big client, and I feel really good about this. Well, that's great. Oh, look, can I have a seat? The main reason that I called you here today was I, uh... <clears throat> I want to talk about this wedding. Yeah, well, Nick and I talked about it, and he's absolutely no help. But I think we'd be happy with something small, you know? Family and just a few friends. I, I wouldn't be able to help you with that. You see, the wedding that I'm springing for is going to be big. It's going to be first class, and it's going to be the social dinner season. Sorry, but uh, he's not here. He's probably downstairs at his office. No, he isn't. I already checked. Oh, well, then I will tell him you stopped by. Uh, since I'm already here, there are a few things that I would like to say to the new Mrs. Alan Michael Spaulding. I can't believe she leaked Vanessa's name to the press. Mm -hmm. I take that back. <laughs> Nadine will do anything to prevent Billy from finding out about that. Vanessa's distracted. Things couldn't be better. Alex, what's this is all about? I've drawn up a new will. There are considerable changes, and I would like to name you both as my new executors. I'm putting the future of my family in your hands. you some coffee, Nadine, but I'm very busy. Oh, you never have to serve coffee again now, do you? Of course, that was the whole point of this marriage, wasn't it? Nadine, why did you come here to see my husband? Because your husband barged into my husband's office and tried to wreck a big deal that Billy was working on. I just came over here to tell him that he can forget it. As long as I'm concerned, it's not going to happen. Well, I don't think it's any of your business, is it? We protect our own, Eleni. We are good people. And I was so right to warn Frankie about you all along. Nadine, if this is how you feel about me, I can say nothing to change your mind. I have known a lot of gold diggers in my time, Eleni, but I have got to hand it to you. You really played that struggling way through team to perfection. You do not know me at all, Nadine. Oh, but I do. You think you've just caught yourself a prince, but you are in for a big surprise. You see, Harley, my daughter, was married to Mr. Trustbun once, remember? And I know things that can make your skin crawl. Like what? Well, things. <laughs> you can't even think of one thing. Look, Alan Michael is no better than anybody else. He is just richer. I can't believe that you would dump my son, an honorable oh, president man. Please, I'm sorry, but I I'm not sorry. Alan Michael and you deserve each other, and I just can't wait until you both wake up and see what you got. Alan Michael is a fine man. He is a very honorable man and a wonderful husband. You love your son, and for this reason, I forgive your very bad manners, Nadine. 
But your Frank, I'm sure, will find another girl very soon. He probably already has. He cannot wait five minutes without having someone. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I think you should go now, Nadine. And I do not want to hear you say another bad word about my husband ever. Oh, yeah, they're, they're right here. Your addendum is brilliant. Uh -huh. Our addendum, okay? Remember, there's no more hiding. Yeah, I'll have to get used to that idea. Well, you take credit for this. Alexander would be crazy not to go for it. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to sell in Alex on this Packard deal because Billy's not going out without a fight. Mm. And considering Vanessa's situation. Oh, the timing of this scandal couldn't have been better if we'd planned it ourselves. I bet Henry's in there right now, on his knees, begging Alexander to keep her on. There is nothing in your way. You're not so worried about Nick McHenry, are you? No, no. I mean, he's pretty much out of the picture. Eric Levonichek admitted that this whole twin thing was a scam. So, I should probably start having your business cards made up. Let's keep it simple. Alan Michael Spaulding, president. What are you doing? Do you think you should be using Alexander's phone? Why not? I'm just calling in to check in with the lady. Oh, well, that's just the third time you've called her today. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, oh, no. What? This clause. Oh, this could be a problem. Let me see. Well, I'm flattered by your faith in my longevity. <laughs> but there is a potential problem. You know Alan Michael and I don't get along very well. And I trust you to prevent my nephew from pulling any tricks on my primary heir, Nick McHenry. Mm -hmm. Uh, excuse me, isn't this a little bit premature? This is beyond reason. Now, wait a minute, Daddy, wait a minute. Perhaps there's some new uh, proof of his paternity? I'm satisfied. That's enough. A simple yes or no answer is all that's required of you. Will you be the executors of my will or not? Thanks. This has always been a family company. What about the next generation? Are you forgetting Alan Michael and, and, and Philip and Amanda? Certainly not, Henry. They will still get plenty. But my primary heir will be my son. You're turning over a multi-billion dollar corporation to a boy with no business experience who doesn't even want to be a Spalding. Well, I have no plans to die anytime soon. And by then, Nick will have accepted the truth that he is my child. Alex, I, I cannot let you do this. I think we should keep our private lives out of this, all right? Look, let's be straight about this. Melinda and I had a relationship. Well... An affair, whatever you want to call it. And I truly cared for her. We truly cared for each other. Things didn't work out, obviously. They went bad. These things happen. It's past. I can see clearly how happy she is with you. And I am happy for her. All right, so enough said. Yeah, but I think that if she can deal with a simple acquaintanceship with me, that shouldn't pose a problem for you. I just want to be a good reporter. I want to do the best stories that I can the best way that I know how. And if I make some money in the process, that wouldn't hurt. Look, you got a very bright future, no question. Seeing the numbers you've been bringing in, I'm just glad we're a part of it. The numbers have gone up. Forget I said that. You'll be hitting me for a raise. <laughs> it's just nice to hear, that's all. I'm sure you're not surprised. After all, Chancellor Award, two years running. Story smile from all over the world. Guatemala, El Salvador, Haiti, Indiana. I'm, I'm surprised the networks didn't grab you. Well, there was an offer on the table. Politics. Well, their loss, our gain. There's one thing I'm curious about, Nick. I noticed in your resume that in, I think it was 1988, your production fell off completely. Any particular reason? Well, I just got off of a, a very big expose, and I needed to recharge my batteries. It's understandable. If there's anything I can do to make your life easier around here, you let me know, okay? All right. Okie doke. Welcome. Roger. Yeah. 
Well, here are the latest numbers. <laughs> Listen, I thought we'd let Nick do an editorial on the mayor's press conference. You know, that whole city council mess. Something provocative. And if we like the results, we can make it a regular segment. My thought exactly. I like the way you think, Julie. Listen, um, there wasn't a word from Holly this morning. Now, I thought she was coming in today, but I couldn't reach her by phone. You stop worrying. The lady's got to come to work sooner or later. Good morning. Hi, how are you feeling? how you were feeling. Fine. I'm feeling just fine. You'll just close the door on your way out. Holly, what are you doing? I'm working. I mean, that's what I'm going to try to do. Listen, there are business decisions that have to be made. You've been completely out of touch here. and That's understandable, but it's gotten really stalled here. Well, then send Jilly in to catch me up. That's ridiculous. I can fill you in on everything that's been going on around here. What's this? Fan mail. Fan mail? <laughs> Don't you know? You're a regular heartthrob. The female viewers are having some response to you, and so mm. are some of the PAs, I might add. You're kidding. Watch it. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm about to be a married man. Now, I don't want you to go overboard on this. Well, I just saw Wrigley Field for a couple of intimate friends. Daddy. Okay, right, something with a dome in case it rains. Of course, it ain't gonna rain on my princess's wedding. You don't know how much I've missed you calling me that. Well, you are, you know, and you always will be. Hey, I wish I had to do it over again. I mean, you know that day when you came to me with your heart in your hands? Yeah. Well, Daddy, you were hurt. No, 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 you were hurt. I was just thinking about myself. I tell you, I had no business turning you away. I had no business being so high and mighty after all the hurt I've caused. I just hope I can make it up to you. Well, you don't have to, not by spending a lot of money. Yeah, but we're having a wedding. <laughs> As long as I have the love and support of my family, that's all that matters. Yeah, I know it's a special day. We're going to honor it and everything, but it's also a day where we're going to crow. <sighs> I think this family needs to crow a little bit. You know, get up, spread your wings, shout it out. We got the best thing in the world, and that's you. I want to tell the world about it. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, after that public flogging I took from Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> and me punching old Roger. Yeah, and Jack Kiley. Oh, yeah, Jack. Mm -hmm. Boy, when we do it, we really do it. Well, you know, this is really just a big old small town. I wish I could say I didn't care what people think, but I really do because it reflects on you kids. We're a bit messy, but we got a lot to be proud about, so why don't we give them something to write about in that social column? Want me to come back? No, you and I got work to do. We're just finishing up Mindy's wedding plan. Look, I, I tell you what, sweetheart, why don't you uh, you just concentrate on the honeymoon, okay. and we'll let um, we'll let Nadine design the wedding. How's that? Uh, with uh, with my help. Of course. Maybe Mindy's got somebody else to do it. Oh, but darling, it, it would mean so much, Nadine. And besides, it'd make her feel like she's part of the family. Now, I, I know she goes overboard, and uh, I won't let her do that. Uh, Hey, what do you say? You mean what's me too? Okay. Fine. That's fine, Daddy. But there's something I think you should know. What's that? I don't want to cause any problems for you, but I feel really strongly about this. And I think you're going to have some feelings about it too. I want Vanessa to be my matron of honor. Well, it's your wedding. You can do whatever you want. If you decline to be my executor, as I shall just find someone else. Well, this ought to get Nick to say he's your son. He'd be a fool not to. He wouldn't do that, just uh, for the money. Alex, Alex, really? Daddy, wait, wait, wait. Look. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and here? Mm -hmm. Well, I see at least he can't grab the money and run. 
A great deal of care and thought went into this. I'm not stupid and I haven't lost my mind. Contrary to popular belief, the will is designed so that no one person can dismantle or fritter away what we have worked so hard for. Everyone is taken care of, including future generations. This is the future of my family. And I have a particular obligation to my son. Any parent would feel the same way. Alex, is he your son? And if you have any doubt, why on earth are you doing it now? See, here's the Packard's lease agreement. It was attached to the entire package. I can't believe you missed this. Oh, I, I, I just get nervous before these big meetings sometimes. You should be quaking in your booth. Nadine. So you want to take on Billy Lewis, do you? What are you doing here? Nadine? What are you doing here? Alan Michael didn't mind crashing Lewis turf, did he? It's all in the spirit of good, healthy competition, Nadine. I mean, uh, that's what this country was founded on. Oh, stuff it, Alan Michael. You think you are so smart. He is. Yeah? Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that my Billy is going to wipe the floor with you. Is there anything specific you wanted? Yes. Justice. You Spaldings think you can take whatever you want in this town, or whoever. Well, all of that is about to change right now. Don't count on it, Nadine. We have ourselves a secret little weapon, and you'd be amazed to know what it is. Lee, I can't imagine what that would be. You want a hint? It's hard work, Nadine. Hard work. That's what we've got up our sleeve. That's our secret weapon. You tell Billy how much I respect him and how much I think he's a heck of a businessman. And you're so good, Nadine. Stand by your man. At least I have one, Blake. <laughs> Just wait until you find out. Um, Blake... Nadine, we really have to get to a meeting. Consider yourself warned, you little phony. That Packard contract is Billy, so you just butt out. You want to call it? <sighs> that woman makes me want to scream. Hey, we're going to steal one of the biggest deals right from under Lewis's nose. Now, we've got the goods on Nadine to blackmail her. Why do we want to tip her off before we know what we want? I know, you're right. Women like that drive me nuts. All that nouveau pride without an ounce of wits to back it up. But that's what we love about her, right? <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa! Oh. Vanessa! Oh. What? Sorry! Oh. Oh. I was driving the other way and I saw you come in. Are you taking a lunch break? No, I'm just, uh... <clears throat> I have some paperwork and I thought I'd you know, get it done at home for a change. So I, I could be home for Bill. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just have a hangover because Maureen and I had too much to drink last night. Um, mm. let's see. Ooh. Listen, I'm really sorry that we didn't get a chance to talk before you left last night. I don't want to talk about Billy or what you saw last night or what you thought you saw. No, no, that's not why I'm here. I came to tell you that I'm getting married. Oh, I know. Oh, I think it's just stupid. Over. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, honey, I'm so oh, happy for you. Thank you. you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thanks. Nick was so sweet last night. He asked Daddy for my hand in front of a whole table of Lewis men. Oh, that's very brave. Yeah, that's what the family gathering was about. I know. I, I'm sorry. I must have put a damper on things. No, you didn't. You didn't. Not at all. Daddy and I actually had the best night we've had in a long time. And he wants to make a big production out of this wedding, which I'm a little nervous about. <laughs> Don't be. Come on, sit down now. You know your father. It's just his way of yeah. trying to make amends <clears throat> to you. Yeah. And, you know, actually, we had a really good talk, and we talked about everything. He apologized. Well, Billy always has 20-20 hindsight. He means well. I know. And I'm very, very happy that the two of you are getting along so well. It's a real credit to you. He behaved terribly, and you were very yeah. patient and loyal. And well, anyway, you're going to have a beautiful wedding. I want to ask you to be my matron of honor. Will you? Oh, of course. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I would good. love it. Oh, good. All right. So, now when is the wedding? Sometime in the spring. Be awkward. What are you talking about? Some 
sometime this spring, I'm going to be in court. I'm going to be pressing charges against Jack Kylie for attempted rape. What? I mean, it, it's, it's an obvious duplication of efforts, so I thought we'd just combine the two jobs and create a new position. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Holly, would you just talk to me? What is the problem? The problem... The problem is I can't... I can't stand hearing your voice. I can't stand seeing your face, your entire being. I see. Well, that's too bad because... This is my business, too, and I'm not going anywhere. Well, I realize that, but there is a solution. We can communicate through memos and through Jilly, just as long as I don't have to deal with you. Holly, that is absolutely ridiculous. Listen to yourself. Nothing would get done. This is the way I can deal with this situation. You know, I'm not asking you to confront deep philosophical issues here. These are elementary business decisions. It's what I want. Can't you respect that? No! No, I can't, because it's ridiculous. How do you justify it? I don't have to justify a damn thing to it's you. It's no way to run a business. Well, it's my business, too. Then act like it, and stop wallowing in self-pity. Look, when you lost St. John, you lost nothing. End of discussion. Holly, I have the price on the new transmitter you wanted. Too high, we can't afford that. Just a minute. That transmitter to expand. We can't. Just please, I, I just need to. Holly. investing in our future. But if we can't afford it... Let me worry about that. Hey, Dad. Hi, honey. How you with Mom, Darius? <laughs> She's not doing so good. Oh, I guess I better talk to her. Well, on a brighter note, I got a job. <laughs> oh, wonderful. At Spalding. Can you believe it? I don't know how Alan Michael did it, but... Alexandra's hands are tied, and it's killing her. That is terrific news. Yeah. I just hope it lasts. I think it'll last as long as you want it to. But I also have a feeling that before too long, you're going to be working with me. I'm going to make good on my promises to you and Hart. Something's changed, hasn't it? With your dad, things are always changing. <laughs> I just had a very productive meeting. Yeah. Mm, thought I'd take a long lunch. Mm. A long, mm. late lunch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm, you are being very bad. Oh, no, come on, not really. I mean, after all, considering I live right above the store, and uh, technically I'm still on my honeymoon. Mm. 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 How was your day? Nadine stopped by. It wasn't exactly pleasant. I wouldn't worry about Nadine. I saw her downstairs, I promise you. She'll never bother you again. Mm, that's good. Right? Mm. You've been very busy. <laughs> Look at all these plants. Oh, I got the idea when we stayed over at your aunt's house. I loved all the flowers there, so I went to go see the man who takes care of them all. Uh-huh. The gardener? No, the horticulturist. I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> Where was I during all this? Working. Oh, Alan Michael. <laughs> What else? Oh, I know. I'm sorry. But uh, he is, he's so bright. He knows everything. Every plant you can imagine, you know? I told him about the purple flowers that grow in my village, and he knew them right away. And if, you know, the plants get sick or the leaves turn brown, the flower goes, you know. Oh, wilted. Yes. Yeah. Well, he knows exactly how to fix it. Oh, it just made me feel... I don't know. What? I'm sick? No. Well, maybe just a mm. little... Made me think of having a house, our own home. 
in planting a tree? Uh-huh. Uh, just one? You mean any particular kind of tree? Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully one that doesn't have the phone in it. Hello. Hi. I thought the meeting with Alexandra went well. Yeah, uh, Blake. You know, we should make an offer for the offshore drilling platforms. Yeah, well, yeah, that can wait. Well, you think so? I, I just don't want there to be any problems down the line. You know, I talked to the outfit that Packard's dealing with, and he said... Blake, listen, uh, I'm... I'm off to it. Right. Talk to you later. Yeah, uh, I'll... I'll call you. <laughs> You're bad. That contract has every aspect of Packard's operation covered. Hey, I've been positioning myself on this deal for months. I've got it late. I'm telling you, I don't think Alan Michael can come close. Sounds like you got it covered. I do. I gotta make some money. Gotta do Mindy's wedding. So why are you asking me about Packard? Because I, I want your opinion. Billy, you got a slew of high-paid executives right down the hall. Shoot, I'm just a trainee. Yeah, but you got something that all those Ivy League boys ain't got, and that's common sense. I mean, I tell you, they, they got all the numbers up there in the paper, and it looks good. But 1080, that don't make no difference. You see, Packard, Packard's buying me, Billy Lewis. So you got to show him you're the right man for the job. Exactly. The way I figured, I get the right... Billy? You are going to be so proud of me. I have found the perfect concept for Mindy's wedding. Think Di. Di? Mm-hmm. As in princess. You get it? Oh. Uh -huh. See, I, I saw all these guys in, in funny little hats that they had. Yeah, that, that was the palace guard. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And they had a team of white horses. Do you think we could get that, too? Well, sure get the white horse, but I think you're going to have a tough time getting the palace. <laughs> oh, I know, silly. But you know, there is this place in Vegas. Vegas? Las Vegas? Okay, okay, I was just thinking out loud. Mm. You know, something just occurred to me, too. That little girl is going to need a matron of honor. No, no, and well, I would be proud to do it. I uh, would uh, be Nadine, so... Nadine, Nadine, wait, that position's already filled. But how can it be filled? <clears throat> we haven't talked about it yet, and, and I'm the one planning the wedding. Well, she, she asked Vanessa to do it, I mean. She, she just told me this morning. I... What? Yeah, yeah, I just found out about it. Vanessa, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Mm. So that's... that's why Daddy decked him. I don't believe this. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid that's going to be the common reaction in town. Jack Kyle is a very popular guy. He has a lot of friends. As a matter of fact, I've been told that I'm a little crazy to pursue this because I don't really have anything to prove it with. I just... And I'm very worried about what this is going to do to my family. No, no, you have to go through with this. Of course you do. The man has to pay for what he did. I know, but it's going to get very ugly. He's going to do everything he can to blacken my character, and any judge or jury in their right mind is going to believe you, Vanessa, with your reputation. Ah, it's exactly my reputation that he's going to go after. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about. I don't think it's a good idea for me to be in your wedding. It's just going to turn your wedding into an immediate... No, thing. I don't care about that. Jack Kiley is the one who did something wrong here, and he's the one who should be afraid to, to show his face in public. Wait, don't answer it, please. It's probably a reporter. See, that's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about.
responsibility, you'll be able to enjoy the wedding that much more. It is a social event of the year. It's my place. People expect it. My fans expect it. Well, darling, you'll be right up there in the front row with me. Billy, I have been planning this wedding single-handedly. So what is the deal? I'm the workhorse and Vanessa is the show horse? No, no, no. Vanessa's Mindy's stepmom and they're real close, that's all. But what about me? I'm going to be publicly humiliated. Vanessa's had her chance with all of, of Mindy's other weddings. It's my turn now. Uh, uh, look, Nadine. It... Oh, come on, Billy Bear. Please talk to her about it for me, please. Pretty please. Well, it's not up to me. You mean you won't even do this one little thing for me? Sweetheart, look, I, she's already asked Vanessa. Well, have her say that, that it, there was a mistake or um, there's been a change of plans. I don't care what you tell her, just tell her. Nadine, you are making too much out of this, okay? Sure. Fine. After I just went over to Spalding Enterprises and told off that smart alecky Alan Michael for you. You, you what? You don't know the things I do for you, honey. I went over there and I told him to back off this deal. He's not to mess with my husband. Well, just who the hell told you to do a dumb thing like that? Nobody. I just thought... No, you weren't thinking. That's stupid. Of all the stupid things I've ever... I was only trying to help. Everything I do is wrong, isn't it? Because I am not Vanessa. You don't even want me in this wedding, do you? Nadine, it's Mindy's wedding. It's not a showcase for you. It's not about you. <laughs> Well, Michael, I love the view from here. Yeah, me too. Stop. Mm -hmm. I had the little cars and the little boats and the people. I don't know. I just think that this place is perfect for a single man. And now that I'm blissfully married. Mm -hmm. Just can't help but want to uh, run in the grass in the backyard. And dangle our feet in the lake. Gardens too. Uh -huh. Awesome. And uh, I can plant a tree. Oh, there's that tree again. <laughs> oh, and it will grow. It will grow big and strong, just like our marriage and our love. I'll be right outside our bedroom window. Mm -hmm. So when you go out on the balcony every morning, it'll be the first thing you see. And uh, and just just be on the pool. I'll, I'll plant a seal wildflowers mm -hmm. and an orchard by the stables and grapevines. Mm -hmm. You like grapevines? Mm -hmm. mm. I love grapevines. Someday, someday Mrs. Spaulding, it will all be ours. Mm. You spoke to my station manager about the new transmitter. When can we have it? No, I'm not going through a bank. I'm uh, arranging private financing uh, linked to another project. Yeah, limited partnership. Well, I don't know. We're just uh, hammering out the details. Ah, um, I'm about to go into meetings with my people now. I'll call you back in about an hour, all right? Good. Oh, it's so important. Would you like some tea? need for secrecy is inconvenient. I could get very tired of being summoned here. Well, first I want to offer my congratulations to you for rehiring Blake. You won't be sorry. What else? Well, I need some more money. Keep dreaming. I just gave you those bearer bonds to help research Nick's past. You couldn't possibly need more already. Well, I do. And if you can't give it to me, then you can take back Nick's file. And good luck. I hear they're picking out bridesmaids' dresses. I ran into Hart yesterday. Such a confused young man. You really should spend more time with him. Did I mention that Nadine is planning your son's wedding? The Lewis clan is really making Nikki one of their own. Picture all those sequins and ten-gallon hats. It's going to be a real barn burner. Yeehaw. All right, why do you need more money? I thought you were already on to something. That's going to take some legwork. I have to make a trip to a uh, certain European country. Why is that necessary? Well, there's a gap in Nikki's resume. There's a whole year where he didn't file enough stories to justify the time spent there. That's it? 
Well, if I told you any more, you wouldn't need me. Not another dime, Roger, until you at least tell me where you're going. I'll do better than that. I'll show you. That just came for you. Come on, open it. Let's see what your female admirers sent you. All right. Oh, oh did, did, did. Interesting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Some devoted to the fans sent that. <laughs> so women actually do that sort of thing, huh? Oh, no, 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 honey. no, 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 just to Nick. <laughs> How you doing, honey? What brings you here? Please. Hmm. Oh, travel brochures. Look, Nick, I, um, I need that copy on the mayor's press conference before you leave. Okay? Oh, yeah, no problem. Here you go. Oh. Who typed this for you? 80 words a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what you got here. Uh, too hot. <clears throat> too boring. Too many tourists. That's a question that's better left unanswered. <laughs> so let's see what you have here. I think this is just a little, a little too dangerous, don't you? Is there any place in the world you haven't been? Yes, but Dr. Colton, the migraine's starting to come on really strong. How soon could I take another one of these? hired me back to the company. Well, it wasn't actually, it was actually Alan Michaels doing. I mean, who cares who did it? I have my job back. And it's back to the original plan. We're gonna get... Fine, I see, thank you. Bill? 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 Isn't Bill home yet? No, he's not, Daddy. Well, I, did he mention anything to you about after-school activities? No, we have a date to play chess. Well, that's very odd. Oh, uh, let me get it. I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. I have to learn to deal with it. Sandra and I can be alone in a room together. There's got to be hope for you and Dad. Mom, it's a joke. Just talk to him. There's no harm in talking to him. Why don't I make reservations at the Blue Moon for tonight? And I'll just be glad you have a nice dinner. Right, Mom. No, no, honey, I just... Uh, Mom, what's the matter? Please, just give me a little Mother, time. are you okay? Yeah, be alone. Are you having yeah. a headache? Yeah, I am. Call the doctor. Mother, call... father was going to want to go all out in this. Uh, yeah. This is definitely your I way. I know, and I think he was only half joking. So be warned. He wants this to be event, an event for the whole Lewis family. You know, there was something in here I wanted you to see. I think you'd really like it, and I'm sure you've never been there before. Oh, uh, maybe you left it somewhere. No, no, no. That's what you pay me for. The key to breaking up Nick and Mindy is right there. And all I have to do is go find it. Guiding Light. 